Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the State Road 434 Resurfacing Public Meeting. My name is Vita Homan, and I'm the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will explain the planned improvement to maintain the roadway and enhance safety. We encourage your feedback, and there are multiple ways you can provide input. Comments and questions will be responded to in writing, and all written comments will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Thank you and have a wonderful evening. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450-576-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash p-r-o-j-e-c-t forward slash 450-576-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 501, Deland, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot m c k i n n e y at d o t dot s t a t e dot f l dot u s. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida 32399 zero450 by phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N.K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This resurfacing project runs along State Road 434 from State Road 414, or Maitland Boulevard, to State Road 436 in Altamont Springs. This project also includes upgrading curb ramps at intersections to comply with Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. Currently, State Road 434 from State Road 414 to West Town Parkway is a six lane divided highway with three 12 foot wide travel lanes in each direction. The grassy median is 36 feet wide. There are five foot wide sidewalks on both sides of the road as well as four foot wide bicycle lanes. In this area, the corridor will be repaved and the travel lanes will be restriped to be 11 feet wide, allowing for wider 7 foot wide bicycle lanes on both sides of the roadway. The number of travel lanes remains the same. From West Town Parkway to State Road 436, State Road 434 has six travel lanes divided by a 12 to 23 foot wide grassy median. On the northbound side, there are three 11 foot wide travel lanes. On the southbound side, the two inside lanes are 11 feet wide and the outside lane is 12 feet wide. There are four foot wide bicycle lanes on both sides as well as five foot wide sidewalks on both sides. 
The road in this area of the corridor will also be repaved. The 12 foot wide lane on the southbound side will be restriped to be 11 feet wide, expanding the width of the bike lane to five feet. The width of the bike lane on the northbound side will remain four feet wide. Pedestrian improvements at three intersections are also planned. At Orange Avenue, the medians will extend into the intersection to provide a refuge for pedestrians. The medians will also be extended at Lotus Landing Boulevard and at West Town Parkway to enhance pedestrian safety and encourage safer turning movements at the intersection. Design on this project is underway and anticipated to be complete in summer 2025 with an estimated cost of $1.5 million. All work will be done within the existing right of way. Construction is anticipated to begin in fall 2025 with an estimated cost of $6.2 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by July 29th, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All written comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450-576-1. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Beta Human directly by email at beta.human at dot.state.fl.us. That's B-I-T-A dot H-O-O-M-A-N at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call Ms. Human at 386-943-5645 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 450-576-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by July 29, 2024. Have a good evening.